I think that the work that you guys are putting out is actually really fantastic and I'm quite proud of what we do. And I'm excited to see us grow and, and evolve and to keep pushing this forward. Why do clients even want us to do this in the first place? It's more than just the task at hand of hurry up and put a bunch of bells and whistles on things. We need to think about why it is that they're doing it. Ultimately, all of our clients want customers and they want to make more money and they're in this for business. But this aspect of marketing for top of funnel. So in a buyer journey, you have someone who becomes interested about a thing. They might start Googling. They might just start paying attention in social media and spending a little bit more time just learning. That's what we would call top of funnel. And bottom of funnel would mean that these guys are ready to actually buy. Education and entertainment are really the pillars of top of funnel marketing. And that's what we're here to produce. And while we're making any video, it's keeping in mind what can we do to make this more educational and more entertaining. So we don't want people to bounce off the video. We want to teach them. We want to keep them engaged and entertained. What makes a good video? We have this base video to start with and we have to produce something good that can go up on social media or on a website. Before we get into like after effects and stuff like that, there's a number of things that we definitely want to pay attention to. Just something to, to think about and to keep in your mind whenever you get a new video, before we add a bunch of emojis, get the captions up there, before we even get to all this stuff, we want to take a look at things like color correction. Do we need to fix the color? Is there something that we need to do that can just make the overall color look better of the video? Or if there's two camera angles, we want to somewhat match the color, unless we're doing it on purpose, which is more color creating to use it as an effect, start to develop a taste. If I am looking at it, is there something that is distracting about the color? Does it not seem natural? It's all about just taking the footage and making sure that at a baseline, the color is looking good. Pay attention to other people's videos instead of just watching it. Watch with intention when you're watching a movie, when you're watching a TV show, when you're watching social media. Pay attention to look at it and start to train your mind about what looks natural. It's all about developing taste. There's the tools that you use and you can slide things around, but you need to have an opinion. And true artists have taste. Color correction, matching multi-angle, developing taste and cropping. These are all things that I think should be looked at before you cut a single thing. Just do that right at the beginning. Just have a little process. Do what you can to fix the color. Matching colors on the different cameras. Asking yourself, does this look good? Does this look natural? And if not, just keep tweaking it to the best of your ability. You can't fix everything, but I do think probably most things could be fixed at least a little bit. The music that you're adding to it, you need to be thinking a few things. For instance, first and foremost, who is the target audience? You need to understand who the audience is. They're older people, maybe in smaller town America who are uh, a bit more conservative. So we shouldn't have trap music. We shouldn't have heavy hip hop music as the sound bed. It's not gonna appeal. It will distract the target audience because they're gonna be hearing music that they probably hate. To us, it might be cool and it makes sense and that's what you hear most, but while you're selecting your music, think about who is this for? Secondly, what is the video about? If some kind of video that's sentimental about upbringing and everything that it meant for him, it's probably not appropriate to have some Looney Tunes music that's I'm pumping thing. Think about the meaning of the target audience and think about the meaning of the video and the music should be there to support both of those things that should be appropriate for them. And then the music is to enhance what the video is about. If it's speaking, if it's talking head speaking, you're not going to want vocals at all. It's just going to clash and it will distract. And that also applies to the frequency range. You're not gonna want an instrumental that has trumpet solo throughout that's fighting with the vocals. What you're adding is to enhance, not to distract. You wanna be thinking about before you start adding bells and whistles, is there any part in here that's uncomfortable? Is it too long? Is the pause too long? How is the pacing? Basically the pacing, the cuts, they need to keep you engaged and need to keep 
the video moving forward. So our default action of cutting out the ums and ahs and the awkward spaces and stuff like that, a lot of times that kind of takes care of it, but you still might want to consider, was Rodney rambling a little bit? Did he say three sentences right there that literally mean the same thing? That's boring. So keep the pacing up, keep people engaged. You want to make sure that your editing is serving the purpose of keeping people entertained and not bored and play with color to do it on purpose, to do it for the art of it. Now, if you go watch a lot of famous movies and Dune, they use color for an effect to support if we're doing something sad and whatever, you might wanna lean a bit more cool. And now you can bring in and you can add color overlays, you can play with colors, you can do it to support the meaning of the video and do it for an effect. Sometimes having some of the videos when you might just want to literally just desaturate it all the way and let it be black and white for a couple frames, maybe the overall look you want it to feel. We're talking about summer and happy warm times, so maybe just push a little bit of orange into it to, to support that. I think it's important for us to not rest on our laurels, as they say and just do the same thing over and over and over again.